Hey peeps, it's Triple L, and today I'm here to talk to you about a Pokemon Sun and Moon topic, this time centering around the idea that Pokemon Sun and Moon might be giving old Pokemon new evolutions, or at least talking about that idea and talking about what we've seen so far and seeing if it has any weight. So let's just give some background. The last time we had old Pokemon getting new evolutions outside of Eevee and Mega evolutions was Gen 4. After that, Gen 5 was all about brand new Pokemon. We got a whole new 150, I think. And Gen 6 gave us the smallest amount. And you could have excused that because of how much work Game Freak had to do to remodel, you know, all the Pokemon into 3D. So that was fair. But in Gen 7, things are getting a little bit weird. This video in particular is going to talk about two of the new Pokemon, Drompa and Yongoose, because of that. And why these two? Well, it's because these are two that are being related to past Pokemon, Dunsparce and Zangoose, respectively. So, these are effectively the ones that I am centering this whole discussion around. In this video, I'm going to give my two cents on the matter and really talk about what may be happening here. And ultimately, why I think the evolutionary lines, Dunsparce evolving into Drompa or Yongoose evolving into Zangoose, may just not be a thing. It may not be. There might not be no evolution involved between these Pokemon. So let's start with Drompa. I recently made a video that covers Drompa and its similarities with Dunsparce. I highly recommend you check out that video because there are a lot of similarities when you actually look at it from design to the mythos behind what uh, Dunsparce was originally inspired by. You know, there's a lot of nice little connections, but at the end of the day, do I actually think it might mean something that there might actually be that evolutionary connection between the two? Well, if I was to express it in, in probability, I'd say it was a 70-30 split in favor of the two Pokemon not being related. You may point out, you know, I made that video about the similarities. You may say, hey, but don't you believe it? I mean, you, you went that far. You, you pulled all these really neat little details. But yeah, it's exactly because I went out of my way and I made that video that at the end of the day, something doesn't sit right with me. Especially when I look at the biography of Drompa, where it talks about it being nice to kids, coming down from mountains and just hanging out with them. It's just, when you read the backgrounds, the it just doesn't seem cohesive. And you can't rely on cosmetics, because we have Love Disc and Alobamola, and they aren't related. Let's face it, Game Freak can always troll us, and they might be trolling us with Drompa and Dunsparce. There really might not be a connection. So because of that, to sum it up, when it comes to those two, I'm really skeptical that they're related because there is just a lot of things going against it. I will say though, I'm not against those two actually being evolutionary related because that would be pretty cool. It'd give Dunsparce a new lease on life and it'd make things funner for everyone that supports Dunsparce. So, you know, if they are related, there's nothing taken away from that. Nothing's being taken away. No values lost in Drampa. Now let's switch over to Yongoose and Zangoose. Because you can see why people would assume these two are related. They're both based on a mongoose, their names are similar, and their bios establish them to be a counter to another species of Pokemon. And after that, that's pretty much it. It's mostly all cosmetic, in all honesty. But even then, Yongoose has things that can't be reconciled in Zangoose. And because of that, I don't think the two are related by evolution either. The things that can't be reconciled, you can kind of see on the screen, are the color schemes for the two, and again, the bio of Yongoose. Yongoose's description on the Pokemon website establishes that it's a pretty big glutton. It just eats, eats, and eats. It's, a, it's appetite is one of the big things that's being highlighted, and Zangoose doesn't have that in its entries. It's all about its rivalry with Surviper. Because of that, I just don't think they're going to be related. And to even go a little further, there's actually a distinction in their English name. And that's that there's no E at the end of Yongoose, whereas there's an E at the end of Zangoose. I think that was done by the translators in particular to distinguish that these two Pokemon are not related, even though they may have a similar name. But peeps, what's the point of this video then? Because I'm just talking and pretty much shooting down these ideas. But I also have a little bit of another opinion on this whole matter, because at the end of the day, Pokemon Sun and Moon is, it was revealed to us as the game that brings it all together. And when you look again at Yongoose and Zangoose in particular, and you look at the biography, there is that one commonality that they both have, and that's that they were both designed as Pokemon that were counter to another species of Pokemon. And I think that's a really neat idea. Even if Yongoose and Zangoose may not evolve, may not have any kind of evolution connection, it doesn't take away that they are still kind of inspired from the same source. And that's the idea that the Mongoose has 
disastrous rivalries with other Pokemon. In particular for Yongoose, it mirrors a situation in Hawaii where, where the animal Mongoose was introduced into the population to control another rodent. So at the end of the day, if Game Freak decides to keep bringing out these elements from past titles of how they've designed Pokemon and keep wanting to put them back into Pokemon Sun and Moon, I think that'd be really cool. I think it's cool to have a Pokemon that is based around another Pokemon as its counterpart or as its natural enemy. I think it's a very neat idea. So overall, the things I want you to take from this video are that I think Dunsports and Drampa, they have a small chance of being tied by evolution. And when it comes to Zongoose and Yongoose, I don't think they are related by evolution because of the discrepancies in their backgrounds, but I do think they might be inspired by the same mechanic of a mongoose having a natural enemy as it was apparent in Generation 3 with Zongoose. So overall, I really do think it's interesting that so far Generation 7 has presented us Pokemon that are really making us question whether or not older Pokemon are actually going to be getting natural evolutions. and. Personally, I do hope this ends up happening. I think there are many Pokemon that do deserve a natural evolution and not a mega evolution. And I think it'd be really neat to see. As more Pokemon keep coming out, it's going to get uh, pretty exciting if we get to see one that for sure we can all agree it's probably related to another Pokemon. And I'm really excited for that possibility. So overall, peeps, you know, tell me what you think. Do you want old Pokemon to get new evolutions? In that case, which Pokemon are you considering? I'd really like to see it for a few. But, you know... I'll be okay if there's not. I'm okay with just having new Pokemon as well. But it's always way more exciting to have Pokemon you grew up with getting a new lease on life. Anyway, peeps, let me know what you think about this video. Let me know if you have any comments, if you have anything else that you want to say. And I guess I'll leave it there. Have a good day, peeps. Till next time.